In general, many of the students used to face the difficulty regarding the questions based on two's complement and the overflow concept as well. See, for solving these kind of questions, you should try to understand the question clearly. As per the context of the question, if you answer, then definitely your answer will be correct. And for coming to the overflow concept, you should know the range of the numbers uh, with respect to two's complement. Then definitely you can solve the question correctly. So in this particular question, they have given A and B both are represented in two's complement form, right? The word representation is very, very important. Here regarding A, sign bit is zero, which indicates positive number, remaining bit simply give the magnitude. Whereas B number sign bit is one, that indicates negative number. So if you apply two's complement for the given number, from there you are getting magnitude. In this way, you can find out A and B in the decimal equivalent. And they have given four choices. With respect to which choice overflow occur, that is the question. Okay, either overflow occur or underflow can occur. See, here, since A and B, you are getting integer part, definitely uh, you can focus the context regarding overflow. Because underflow concept can occur whenever you are having fraction part, the given number, if it is very small, which we cannot able to represent with the help of given number of bits, then the concept of underflow can occur. But for this question, you can ignore the word underflow. Okay, so here you are getting correspond decimal equivalent for A as plus 10 and for B as minus 6. Okay, with respect to 5 bits in 2's complement representation, the corresponding range you are getting minus 16 to plus 15. Within this range, including minus 16 and plus 15, if you are getting any of these values, that means 5 bits are more than sufficient, here overflow won't occur. But if it is exceeding the range, either towards this side or towards this side, then that indicates overflow occurs, that's all. With the help of this logic, give a try and then cross verify whether your answer is correct or not. So for this particular question, you are getting overflow case occurs in option B. Whereas uh, in remaining three choices, overflow is not occurring. Since the question is of MCQ type, so option B is the correct answer. Here they asked the context in which case overflow occurs. So in option B, overflow occurs. Suppose if they ask the question in which cases overflow won't occur, then remaining three choices will be the correct answers for this particular question. I hope it is clear for everyone. Thank you for watching this video.